Hi guys, it's Fernando from Fixipedia. Um, today we've got a, a model HP uh, G62 that's on the workbench and the problem with this guy is that it turns on, uh, starts to boot up and then when entering Windows it uh, stays black, uh, black screen doesn't pass. You, you can start it on um, safe mode and it will boot up so I'm thinking it might be graphics card let's just check the symptoms again I'm gonna boot it up okay now it's red so there's a bad contact with the with the display connector here. I'll have to check that in a minute. Um, it's a little dirty, so it uh, makes sense that uh, there could be bad connections. It still has to be cleaned up. Okay, so last time it, w it started, obviously it went um, powered down by itself. Okay, so it says that it's entering Windows. Can listen to the hard drive work, and you can see a little LED there indicating that it's thinking, that it's processing, but nothing on the screen. So It'll stay here for hours, so let's just turn it off so I can show you. Okay, so as you can see. The ventilation is pretty much, yeah, okay, yeah, it's full of dirt. He's got a dedicated, um, AMD graphics card. And what we're going to try and do is on this side of the board, near the IO chip, we're going to change, um, I think there are two resistors, yeah, two resistors that are there that function as uh, hardware jumpers. And what that is going to do, it's going to deactivate the dedicated uh, GPU. And we're going to just use the integrated uh, GPU. So it's going to steal a little memory from our memory bank. But uh, I mean, it's a cheaper option. Uh, Client's gonna have a machine working for a few more years, um, and the things that the client does doesn't does not require a dedicated uh, GPU. So it's a win-win for everyone. I repair machine, she saves a ton of money, doesn't have to buy a new board, and it's a simple fix. So um, let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it's totally clogged up. Okay, so 
if we just clean it out a little bit just for you to see the difference okay so that's how it is and that's basically how it should be after i clean it up this will all be all shiny and dust free change the thermal paste over here which is not that bad but it requires changing it's a little dried up so okay i'm gonna put the board on the work table and see you in a minute okay so i got the board here ready to change out the resistors that i was saying so the resistors over here right next to this ITE chip this is an IO chip and the resistor is this one is going to go to this side so it's a RI55 is going to the side of the RI51 and the RI53 is going to the side of the going to the place of the RI56 so this one goes here and this one goes here uh, it's pretty hard to see but I'm gonna um, at the end of the video I'll put in a, a picture that uh, demonstrates exactly which ones are the ones to change so let's change it now and see what happens let me see if I can just position this so you can see get a little flex on this Normally what I do is I put on a little bit more flex, just give it a little reflow, so just to see if they position themselves automatically over the, the contacts. Six seems to be just a little off, so to grab it again. Okay, so oops, there we go. Just clean it with the common swab and a little bit of isopropylic alcohol. So let's connect this all over again. Okay, so it's booting up. I got an external keyboard on this. <clears throat> OK, 
think the fan's almost at full speed, so yeah, definitely need to clean that. Okay, we did something we didn't do before, which was check to see if there were any errors. I'm gonna cancel it for now. There you go, it's working. I guess this will be a straight up repair for anyone with this type of model. I'll leave um, everything, uh, all the description in, in the description about the uh, exact model, what to do, and I'll leave a picture for the resistors that you have to swap. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.